Do you like my earrings? I love them. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs>my family's been here for a long time. My dad and mom came here in 1969 and they started doing business here then. We've had grapes here for a long time and grocery stores and really been intertwined with this community. And now coming home, it's the first time really being home in 21 years, I felt that the Housley brand was kind of what we needed to do because people wanted to know where we were gonna be. And the idea is just to everybody uh, feel warmth and feel loved and you know, uh, be kind to each other. And yeah. as you can see, kids are welcome. There's a lot of variables that went into play with this decision, and one is, you know, we want to raise our kids in a place that it still has a, a really good vibe. We love wine country. I think people are starting to really discover that it's more than just a tourist location. It's really got just about everything. It's wine, it's food, it's the outdoors. And Tamara looks at me and goes, I think you should do it. <laughs> I'm like, what? I think, I think we should move the kids to It was to after a couple of drinks. Wine. <laughs> I am so grateful to be a Housley. And um, we've been married for eight years, and I had this like crazy idea. And you know, Adam and I talked about it about possibly opening up a tasting room in downtown Napa. And so the same week, we decided to go back to Napa. We find out Tamara's dad um, has a little <laughs> bit of a health issue, and the doctor says, you know, LA's air is not good. You need to get out of LA. So my um, dad literally surprised us one moved, day and moved and was like, "Hey!" I think it surprised everybody. I mean. <laughs> So I'm he, moving. So he moved Where up. Where, Dad? <laughs> to Napa. To Napa. We thank our parents, Tim. I just moved up here, and we searched far and wide to find someone to run behind the counter. And, uh, you know, that, that, that search resulted in, in Tim. I knew you would do great, Dad. She did. She this is my first time owning a business, so when I made the decision, I did have some kind of reservation. I was indecisive about it. And, yes, it was taking a, a huge um, risk, but I learned that, you know, sometimes in life, you just have to trust your gut, um, trust each other, and take that risk. Once Elena happened, and that entire situation just taught me, you know, life is short. Um, if you have a dream. Go for it. Go for it. I literally felt Elena saying, just do it, do it. So we did it. I'm just very grateful and honored to now be living here in Napa. I've, you know, it's, it's an amazing community. So thank you to everybody for coming, everybody who helped. Um, you're always welcome here. Um, and hopefully this will be a place we all can enjoy as a, as a community for a long time coming. High five, Adam. Best bar. Dad, have you had some? What is that? This is a Chardonnay. Do you even like our wine? Uh, I don't. I don't really drink a lot of wine. I know. What's funny is he drinks beer, so that's why I'm here to taste it. Don't I come in every she day? Does, she tells me what to push. What Dad, do I push, Dad? To push. Adam and Tamara's field blend. Whatever, whatever my kids want, they ask me for help. From I'll be there. They can film. Let's be honest, I truly didn't understand the hours of a tasting room. Or just opening or, your own business. Or opening your own business. It's a lot. So yeah, it's yeah. a lot of work, lots, it, it could be, it could be mm -hmm. stressful, but at the same time, I really loved our weekends. This one's got uh, about 18 months in the barrel. She's like, you're working again. I, I don't know, see you as much. Thing. I got used to him being home, because I do travel back and forth. I do a television show, as you guys know, called The Real. I get on a little plane and I travel twice a week. And what I love about Adam is that, you know, he supports me in that. And I love it because I'm able to do what I love. And then at the same time, when I'm not doing that, I can be a full-time mom, full-time wife. Oh, is this your new friend? That's my boy, Charlie. That's your boy, Charlie? Yeah. Oh, he's your friend? Okay. Oh, oh. Thank you for the kisses. But for that past year that he wasn't working, I mean, he was at my beck and call. It was amazing. It was 
awesome. <laughs> now I was he's the not servant. Doing I was the servant. He really was. It was great. Actually, it was seven months specifically because she always rounds up. I always round up. Here comes Alexis. Here comes She's coming in. She's the designer who so, helped me with this yeah. space. But anyways, wait. What? I helped design the space too. You did. Countertops. He did. Floors. He did. I'm not just saying. That. Yeah, he did. I think we're a great team when it comes to design. I think it practical, and she thinks of. of, of he took the words right out of my mouth. I was actually gonna say that because yeah. I can go a little bit too frou frou. My first condo, and you told me, it was really nice, but he said it reminded him of a museum. It was very orange. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was rust, babe. It was Italian. It was so rust. So it was very, like, rustic. It was rustic. rustic. You guys, I have to introduce this woman right here. Her name is Alexis Field. This woman is amazing. She's a sister I never wanted. That's what they say. She's exactly the sister. He got me. She played my best friend on Sister Sister. She was Diabion. We connected with each other throughout our life after Sister Sister. It's been over 20 years. Mm. Don't um, tell them. Don't tell them. But so we, you we reconnected over. with the love of interior design. We share the same vision. It's crazy. I can just tell her something. She can bring it back to me, and I'm like, holy crap, it was like you were in my mind. The number one thing people always say when they come in here, Alexis, is that it feels warm. And it's because of this girl. It's because right of the floor. It's, it's because he it's chose the floor. He chose the floor. That's why he's. And he chose the countertops. They're great, though. That's the only credit he gets for anything <laughs> good. So the focal point of the room, once you're standing behind the bar, is the picture of all of the Housleys. It was really important that I wanted that picture in the tasting room, and we actually designed the colors mm -hmm. of the tasting room off that picture. It was important for me to have it because it was the last family photo that we had with Elena, and we wanted Elena to be a part, because she still is a part of us, and we wanted her to be a part of, of, of the tasting room. So we started talking about the tasting room before Elena happened. Um, and I know she knew that we were, we were gonna do something up there, and we joked about it. Um, I think she even knew where the location was, actually. Um, we didn't sign the lease until, you know, a couple of months later. We obviously um, are still grieving in our own ways. And a couple months after that happened, you know, it was when we signed the, the lease in mid-January. And there was never any doubt that she was going to be just as smart in that tasting room as anybody. Alexis was like, we're putting this here. Do not put anything in that area. It's coming in. It's going there. And what it shows, I think, and what you said, it shows this, like, peaceful powerfulness of you know, all colors coming together, holding hands, overcoming whatever may try to break that bond. You see, my sister-in-law is Asian. My wife is black. Well, you know, I'm obviously white. I'm six generations from California. You've got You're this. You're white. I know it's a surprise, right? Mm. Actually, I'm 22% Iberian. I know. I'm seven percent. So I got that going for me. But you speak Spanish. I, I speak Spanish. Yo entiendo. Um, and so um, <laughs> back to the. I speak French. Not really. Not really. This is my father-in-law, everybody. We have a very special connection. He is a big teddy bear. So if you're proud and you're happy, I'm happy. So seeing Eric there was awesome, because I've been around him my whole life, obviously, my brother. Um, clearly, I'm the smarter one, the better looking one. Um, oh he's not here, so he can't respond. It's awesome. <laughs> He's, he's the funnier one, so that's why I'm getting all really the I'm getting is. all the jokes out. He's now. so funny. He has natural comedic timing. What's your favorite wine of all of the Housley wine? Whatever's in my glass. Chardonnay. So you like Chardonnay? Are you just being? He's being a smartass. It's really cool. He's come down and he sticks his head now and every every day or two he'll just walk in and he'll have some funny comment. Generally, he'll make some <laughs> you know he'll make it usually about me, um, but then he'll have like a really good input. The best thing about working with family is we're we're always pitching in. Like I wasn't gonna be here tonight until I was like, well, they probably need some help, and I'll jump in and help out. And we always kind of pitch in for each other. So we actually both grew up working with family. I never, yeah. I, I've never actually thought about that. That we both grew up working with family. Even when I was doing the news thing, I was still, whenever I had free time, working with family, mm -hmm. running the crusher or running the press. And it, yeah, you're always. Everything's... You've been working the winery for years. Yeah, but it's also interesting too that even when I first met you, even though you obviously sister sister was over. But I was still, still doing Twitches. You still have Twitches, one, Twitches, two, two, double, double wedding. wedding. Oh. But we make a great 
great team, I think. I think. Hey, how do you know how to open the money jar? No, no, no. Wait a minute. Close the Wait door. a minute. Thank you. Wait a minute. I just, I just felt honored that people cared enough. Because again, this was like a thought, a dream first, and then to have people really like, yeah. you know, what we, put, all the hard work really paid off. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It feels good. Yep. I think we make a great team. Who, you and I? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, sir. Have fun, guys. All right. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye.